Hello everyone, I am off to pick up my mom from a doctor's appointment and my friend from her exam. It's a little bit slippery out. Um, well, actually everything's melting, but in my neighborhood and area, everything is still all ice. So yeah, I'm wearing my new hat and scarf that I uh, got yesterday and you would have saw it in yesterday's vlog. They didn't have the mittens and I wanted the mittens for so long, but someone literally bought all the mittens in every color, but this is like my favorite color. So I'm really happy that I got it. I'm sorry if the lighting is bad, but yeah, anyways, welcome to today's vlog. We're actually out doing stuff. I'm filming stuff. I have to call my old insurance company today. I think we're gonna get Wendy's. And I got paid today, so now I realize I'm less poor than I thought, especially when my friends e-transfer me the $400 from our trip that we're taking at the end of the month. And then um, I'll actually feel at peace. I'm definitely done shopping though. I have exhausted my wallet with shopping. And um, yep, that's basically where we're at. I'm also running very behind picking up my friend, so there's that. Okay, I will talk to you guys when I'm doing something a little more exciting, I guess. So I'm just leaving Lori's now. I'm gonna go home, take the scenic route, and I'll talk to you guys when I get home. Bye! So quite a few hours have passed since you last seen me. Um, sorry I'm kind of talking quiet, it's a little after 11pm and everyone in my house is sleeping. But to end the day, um, I didn't really film that much. I know like I didn't really film that much all of Vlogmas, but today, and I want to be transparent with you guys, I just really struggled. Um, I just woke up and I had a pit in my stomach and I felt very anxious and very not like myself for the entire day and tonight I've just been really weepy and this isn't like me um sorry if I'm out of breath <laughs> too it's not really like me to be like this and I just feel like the past year my mental health has just gone down the drainer um it's not been good and I do go to a counselor now um however I feel like I need more I think I need counseling just not on stress management I clearly have other issues too, but tonight, really, I just have been thinking a lot about my life and I really am not happy with it. I feel like I just wasted four years with a degree that I might not even use and I'm not ready to go back to school to get my undergrad in human resources just yet. I feel exhausted and drained. <sighs> Sorry. It's a lot to get off my chest. I do feel exhausted and drained. Oh my gosh, I'm swaying. I'm so sorry. And um, I just don't have the stamina to do another degree right now. And I did get accepted into my master's, which is awesome. However, I don't know if I want to jump into that not ready either. But I don't want to jump into a job that I might not like either. I don't even know if I really want to do HR. Like, yeah. My um, professor who's helped me through a lot in life and knows me better than I know myself thinks I'd be great at it, but right now, mentally, I can't do it. But also, right now, I can't really do anything else because if I don't go back to school, I have to pay my loans off. And I don't want to do that. It's a lot, and I know I have to get it done one day, but it's just a lot, and I feel like these past four years, I have tried to build this life that I've always wanted and thinking just of all the material things that I own, I have everything I've ever wanted for the most part, but I don't have the emotional support I want and I have not traveled as much as I want and that's something I really want to work on because I have all these material things and they don't make me happy. I mean, I wanted these things since I was a kid, I dreamed about it and I got them. Like I worked hard and I built my life and I'm still not happy. I really, I really am not happy. 
I cry all the time. I have developed a panic disorder, that's what. I just go to a counselor, so he can't diagnose me, like actually, but according to Google and just things he mentions, I definitely think I have a panic disorder. I definitely have anxiety. However, I was not diagnosed. I will not be diagnosed. So that's something I need to work on. And um, I'm a runner. I run when things get tough, which is why I went to therapy to handle stressful situations. But in all honesty, I think the only way to get out of this one right now is for me to leave. <sighs> and it sucks because, like I said, I spent the past four years building this life and now I don't know what to do. I was going to move home just so I can save money, but I really don't want to be here either. Just being here gives me anxiety and I don't like it and I'm sad and I'm sad every time I come home, which is not a good thing. I love Toronto, but it's so much money right now. And I was literally looking at buying a house in the next couple months. I was going to stay in my college town, get a real job, buy a house, settle, but I just, I just can't right now. And I don't really want to come back here. And then I kind of want to travel. Um, but I don't know. I really don't know what I'm meant to do in life. And I really feel like I don't have a purpose right now. I'm still trying to find that purpose. And I really don't know what it is. So... I want to give YouTube a shot again, and not even YouTube, a blog, writing. I've always wanted to write a book. Why not take a little bit of time off while I figure out what I'm doing, instead of jumping in to another degree, into a master's program, into a job that I'm going to end up hating. Take some time to work on me. I'm going back to school in January to graduate with my first degree in May. Given, have to do it. I set out to do it. I've invested tens of thousands of dollars into this and if I don't use this degree then it was a learning experience it's fine not really but all her tenants fine but I want to focus on myself I want to start writing again I'm only working two part-time jobs instead of a full-time job and the hours are very controlled I won't be have a lot of money but I'll work on it. I'll figure it out. I'll do other odd jobs too. And then I, I don't know, I'll figure it out. But it's going to be stress free. I'll be working 16 hours a week versus what feels like 60 and still be able to make ends meet. There won't be extras for a long time. But also one thing I've always wanted to do was focus on YouTube which I feel like I'll be able to do now. I even have a spare bedroom I can make a filming room if I really wanted to. And I just, I wanna share my life, I wanna help others. I know I'm not the only one that can have these feelings, so I would love, <sighs> sorry. I just feel nervous talking about this. I would love to share my life in it, share emerging adulthood and share my struggles, but share my triumphs. I have a lot of advice I want to give and I just wish I had someone on YouTube that was relatable. I mean, I live a very different life than a lot of people, but in some way I can usually relate to everyone I meet and I really just want to help somebody because I wish someone could have helped me and I still wish someone can help me, but I need to help myself too. So. 2019 is going to be the year of me, where I focus on me and do what I want. That means more writing, more YouTube, more traveling. Hell, when I decided I wasn't going to work in student government anymore, I said I wanted to travel more. And I traveled a bit, like, you know, came to my hometown more than I would have. I went to Boston, I went to Toronto for two weeks. I'm going to Montreal for New Year's Eve. I went to Halifax a few times. It was good. Gave me the travel bug. I just had a very little taste of traveling. And I want to travel more. I want to experience the world. I want to experience different cultures. I want to feel alive. And 
I always said I would never take a job for money and the job that I just had really felt like that. I did not enjoy the job. I honestly have never cried so much in my life. I've never been so stressed in my life, but I stayed for the money and it wasn't even worth it. So definitely a learning experience I would love to share with everyone. And I really, really hope and I know because of God, everything will work out the way it's supposed to. And I hope all of these hard times I faced in the past year are just gonna, well, I know they made me a stronger person, but I hope something good comes out of it. And I'm so excited to share this journey of life with you guys. So with that being said, thanks for listening and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!